Hi YouTube, this is going to be how to script a spirit bomb in Roblox. So let's begin by making a part and we're going to set the material to neon and we're going to set the brick color to something blue like toothpaste. And then we're going to set the shape to ball. We're going to increase the size and that's the outer layer of our spirit bomb. Now we're going to clone that part, we're going to set the brick color to white, we're going to scale it down, and then we're going to set this blue part to have a transparency of like 0.5. And now you can see there's two layers of our spirit bomb. They're not aligned yet, so let's move this to the right to fix that. And now you can see that's our spirit bomb. It looks okay for the most part. Now we're going to group them, and we're going to scale. And we're going to scale this all the way up because the spirit bomb is giant. And now the spirit bomb is basically complete. And now what we have to do is actually script it. So let me just fix this real quick. Okay, so now that it's complete, we can go ahead and begin scripting it. So begin by inserting a local script onto starter pack. And delete this. And now we can begin. Okay, so before we begin scripting it, I think we should probably anchor this. So anchor this and set can collide to false. Now by doing this, the spirit bomb isn't gonna fall down and it won't be able to hit different things because that can make things weird. So now we can go on the local script and actually start scripting this thing. So begin by making a variable for the spirit bomb. Local spirit bomb equals and then let's rename this model to spirit bomb so we know what it is. And let's move this to replicated storage. Now we're going to say local spirit bomb equals game dot replicated storage find first child spirit bomb. And what this is is basically whenever I say look whenever I say spirit bomb in the script, it's going to think I'm talking about this thing. So that's enough for defining the variable. And now we're going to define the player. So local player equals game dot player is local player. Now what this is, is basically when you play the game, this player variable is going to refer to your actual player. Alright, so now we're going to verify that everything is working as intended. And we're going to try to sprint, we're going to try to print the spirit bomb. We're going to call get full name on it. And what this is going to do is it's going to print where the spirit bomb is. So it should print replicated storage.spirit bomb. And this is just to verify that everything's working. And as you can see, it printed it. So as I said before, whenever we say spirit bomb in the script, it's gonna know that we're talking about this spirit bomb. So now what we're gonna do is, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so when you press E, the spirit bomb will actually work. So to do that, we're gonna do local mouse equals player get mouse. And we're gonna say mouse.key down connect function key. If key equals equals E, then print spirit bomb. Now what this is going to do is whenever someone, pre whenever your player presses a key on their keyboard, if the key is equal to E, then print spirit bomb inside of here. So let's see if that works. If I press E, it'll say spirit bomb. So e. As you can see, every single time I press E, it'll print spirit bomb. So now that we have that much working, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the spirit bomb and we're going to parent it to works, workspace. So what that means is we're going to take the spirit bomb here, we're going to clone it, and then we're going to put it into workspace. And we're going to do all this via script. So how do you do this? Well, we're going to make another variable, spirit bomb clone, equal spirit bomb clone. And then we just set this equal to we just set this thing's parent equal to workspace. And what that does is it's just going to do that same thing that I did before. It's going to clone it and it's going to set it to workspace. So now, whenever whenever someone presses a key, if the key is E, then find the spirit bomb, which is right here, clone it, and then move it to workspace. So let's try that. Now I'm going to press E, and there it is. The spirit bomb, which is the clone of this spirit bomb is parented into workspace and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the spirit bomb on top of me so it's gonna look something like this and then from here we're gonna 
I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the spirit mom move to wherever the mouse is pointing and it's just gonna attack there so first we have to figure out how do you get the spirit bomb above my character's head so to do that let's go and let's go back to the local script and then we're gonna say up here we're gonna say local head head equals player dot character dot head now this is gonna refer to the head object of my character and we're gonna say spirit bomb actually so there's something that I have to teach you before we can do this so with a regular part you've got something called position and this basically this is the position of where the thing is in the world so if you move it you can see the position changes now we have spirit bomb as a model because we're trying to move both of these parts at once and you don't really have a position so that's a problem okay so I just checked and we cannot access this origin position value so basically what that means is a part inside of this model has a position value that we can change so we can change it like that this part does too but this is a model it holds the two parts and we can't change this value using a script so what do we do now well there's something called get and set primary part c frame and that will actually move the entire model for us so what i would do is i would click this primary part value and select one of the parts inside and now we go back into our script and i'm gonna i'm gonna move this head down here and right here we're gonna say spirit bomb clone set primary part c frame and what this is gonna do is it's gonna move it it's gonna move the entire bomb to whatever i put inside here so we want it in the head position so we're gonna say head dot c frame now what this is gonna do is it's gonna literally take the spear bomb and it's gonna move it right inside of our head. And I don't think that's what we want. We want it to move, to be moved in our head, but a little bit above that value. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do head.c frame times c frame dot new. And we're gonna say 0, 20, 0. And now let's see what it does. E. Oh. Yeah, we have to move this back into replicated storage or I won't find it. Okay, so now E, and as you can see, it isn't directly on our head. Like the center, it's not directly on our head. It is above it, but it's not enough above it. So I'm going to set this to like 40. Okay, perfect. So this is where our spirit bomb is going to, it's going to begin. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to move this to our mouse position and then make an explosion. So now let's figure out how to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a wait statement here. We're going to say wait 3. So what this is going to do is it's going to wait 3 seconds before it does anything else. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set the primary part C frame of the spirit bomb into wherever our mouse is pointing. So we're going to say mouse.hit. And what this will do is it's going to move the spirit bomb above our head like we said right here. It's going to wait three seconds and then it's going to move it right where the mouse is pointing. So let's see that. So boom, one, two, three, and then boom right there. So that's pretty cool, but that was kind of too fast. I want it to, I want it to kind of smoothly go there. So how do you do that? The answer is basically something called tween service. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, there's two answers. Number one is tween service, and number two is something called linear interpolation. And they're both kind of the same thing, except with tween service, you can't use this set primary part C frame function. You can, but it would be a kind of a weird workaround, and I'm just trying to keep this simple. So what we're gonna do is something called linear interpolation. And what this does, it, it basically moves something from one point to another very smoothly. So it won't be instant. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do, we're gonna do a for loop, for i equals one, 100, two. And this might get a little bit complex, but I'll probably make a video on how to use linear interpolation later in the future. So we're gonna say spirit bomb clone, set primary part C frame. And we're gonna start by saying local CF equals local cf equals spirit bomb clone get primary part c frame and then we're going to set it to cf and then we're going to use the lerp function and 
now we're gonna say uh we're gonna we're gonna make a variable called hit which is equal to the position of the mouse and then we're gonna say c frame lerp hit then we're gonna use i divided by 100 as the alpha value and then we're gonna say wait and this basically most of you will probably look at and be like what did he just do well this is the code that i hope this works but this is the code that will make the thing smoothly go from one place to another so smoothly go from the top of our head all the way to the mouse position so let's hope this works okay so and then three seconds later okay awesome it works so that is basically linear interpolation this thing right here if you don't understand it don't worry about it i'll literally make a video on this but that's what you have to do to make the thing smoothly go from one position to another and so now that we've got all of that working now we're going to make a final explosion at the end to signify the spirit bomb has exploded because it is a bomb and what i'm going to do is i'm going to set this weight value to one so it does it faster and then now i'm going to make the actual explosion so to do that i think what i'm going to do is as you know it's composed of two parts i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to smoothly make it grow bigger and then just disappear so how do we do that okay so let's scale this model now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna name the parts inside because we can't scale this model itself like there's no size property here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna name this part inner and i'm gonna name this part outer now i'm gonna drag this back into replicated storage and now we're gonna actually make the explosion so now we're gonna do we're gonna do another thing of linear interpolation which i i know that a lot of you guys don't understand this right now but i will make a video on this so let's do it we're gonna do let's make variables for the inner and outer spirit bomb clone that inner and outer spirit bomb clone that outer so now this will refer to this and this will refer to this so now what we're gonna do equals one do inner dot size equals let's make a variable for the original size okay so now this will refer to inner this will refer to this value and this will refer to this value now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do linear interpolation again we're gonna lerp which is basically linear interpolation and uh let's make a scale factor and this is gonna be how big it's gonna go so actually i'll make this 10. this so at the end the bomb will be 10 times bigger than when it started so now we're gonna do original size inner times scale factor i divided by 100. now we do the same thing with outer and now both of these will grow now let's see if this works we'll do a wait one here so now let's see and go ahead and then boom oh there we go yes perfect perfect so yeah there we go the spirit bomb blew up now that looks a little bit choppy i want to make it a little bit faster so i'm going to use something called render stepped and what this is going to do is it's going to make the uh, it's going to make the animation between the linear interpolation it's going to make it a little bit faster so let's let's do that okay it's going to make it faster and it's going to make it smoother so and then yep as you can see boom perfect perfect so now i think i'll get rid of this weight one here so it'll just explode as soon as it touches something and now what i'll do is i think i'll set the transparency to i divided by 100 and then i'll also set the outer transparency to um point 
five plus and I divided by 100. Oops. Okay, so this, yeah, I, I understand that all of this might look very difficult, but I'll explain it. So basically, let me just explain everything from the beginning. So spirit bomb equals the spirit bomb. Player equals the current player. Mouse is the mouse that the player has. Run service is something that will allow us to do a wait, but a very, very fast wait. And so basically what this is, is basically when the player presses a key on their keyboard, if the key is equal to E, then clone the spirit bomb. So basically clone it, set it equal, set the parent equal to workspace. So do that. And then move it to the head's position, but a little bit up and then wait one second and then from here we do the linear interpolation so what this does is basically take it from the top of your head all the way to the mouse position and then make the actual explosion and for the explosion what we're doing is we're basically just taking the spirit bomb making it bigger while also making this transparency fade away and the same thing with this one so that's basically what it is and now we're going to see the final product. So, boom. And boom. There it is. Spirit Bomb. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can do it again, and again, and again. And like, yeah. <laughs> but, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. I know that this part got a little bit complex. But, that's just what linear interpolation is. And if you like the video, if you want another one like this, comment down below, subscribe, like the video, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.